I might have questions. It's, uh, it's, I'm getting oh, questions from the users. Oh, okay. So, here we are inside the bunker for Arma 3. And, uh, I, I, I've been informed that I need to challenge you to hand-to-hand -hand combat so that All I can right. see the game. So, let's go for it. Well, guys, thank you for your time. I think Take notes. All right. Okay. So here we are with Ivan. Hello. Do you, do you pronounce it Ivan or Ivan? It's Ivan. Ivan. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're the first people to give me anything, by the way. Oh, and also this is live. This is live. This oh my god. Live. Okay. So. I came to see Arma 3 for all the people out there that are really excited about your game. It's great to hear. Yes. Um, so, what do you want to know? Uh, whatever you want to tell me. So okay. We can. Um, sure. So, can sit. please take a seat. Yes. And we can start with the presentation. Please. Uh, Arma 3. Yes. What does it mean? It means above all technology for the advancement of the engine. All right. And. Some new features, new possibilities, the three mission editor, physics, improved animations, but uh, we still want to retain the features uh, uh, for which Arma uh, series are so appreciated by some sort of players. So let's jump into the game. Alright. And there we go. We are jumping through a canopy of four magic clouds uh, oh, wow. towards Luminos. I'm sorry for the guys who have uh, already seen the presentation, but never mind. Uh, you can notice the high resolution satellite imagery and the realistic terrain. Again, we take our inspiration from reality. Alright. Uh, uh, Morton from Denmark says that uh, everyone knows this is Lemnos, Greece, but is it the entire island of 475 kilometers square? Oh, uh, we, we have. Uh, uh, Slide that would be slightly downsized, it just uh, just for a purpose of uh, make it like more uh, accessible. Uh, accessible, yeah. But um, uh, the total area of the map is like 900 square kilometers, so it's not too downsized. Uh, on the island, you can actually do whatever you please, but mainly you can fight. Uh, 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 I would like to stress out that the animation system. See uh, it's the old one because the new one is in the making. Oh, uh, I see. But we still have, we still have some interesting things like ragdoll. Okay. Uh, right. And People had questions about ragdoll. Yeah. Let's let's see some from the distance as well as from close range. So from the distance, there he goes. Also, the uh, Arma German community wants to say hi. Ah, great, great. Say hi back. Yes. And um, I can now unmount uh, this optic from my custom customizable rifle. And on the fly, I'm putting on a different optic. And I'll unmount the silencer. Mm -hmm. And with zero dummy and four soldiers, I'm not going to demonstrate the red door from a close range. I just hope I'll hit them on the first attempt. I'm not too good at pushing grenades. Right? Yeah. There we go. Arma 3. It's not about like wandering around, it's also about driving around. So, we are we are now going to see how the ground vehicles were improved okay. in terms of graphical detail, which is really stunning. And also in terms of handling and physical interactions. Ooh. Does the game still have the aiming dead zone option? Yes. Naturally, uh, some vehicles are heavy, some are lightweight, so if you want to push stuff, it's definitely better to use a tank. And solid 40 tons, and so a lot of problems, right? So, greetings to Bruce Van. Okay. And let's move to the uh, next bit of the presentation. 
Yes. People keep wondering uh, why we have a little Manchi. Maybe this is a nice, nice chance to explain ourselves. Okay. Uh, well, we simply liked it, and uh, we are uh, we are trying to uh, to deliver a selection of unique vehicles with uh, unique features, which will have their unique function in, in the game. Okay. Uh, now we can see uh, the helicopter taking off in uh, uh, another bit of uh, real estate terrain. You can see the uh, quite large villages in the distance. Uh -huh. There are some like 50 villages scattered all over the island. All, right. uh, all are modeled with the house which are entrable, destructible. Will the game feature rendered texture? Uh, yes, unfortunately I am unable to show it now. Understood. Uh, as we are still utilizing it, but uh, uh, once we're the mount, we'll be able to show more on our social channels. What, uh, what platforms is it going to be available on? Uh, so far, it's PC exclusive. So far, PC exclusive? And, well, a little detail. Yes. You, you may notice uh, oh. the rockets actually leave in the port and leave the holes there. Oh, that is a neat detail. You know, it's just. I don't know if it's going to come through on the screen, but okay. Okay. as you look at the rocket pods from the back, any rocket that's been used leaves a transparent hole. However, it's not all about flying. Uh, Linux is an island. Yes. Therefore, uh, we are also playing with boats. Yes. It'll be the civilian fisherman boat, which will run. Run over a minute or a speedboat. Uh, does the storyline continue from Arma 2? Uh, not directly. Not directly. There we go, we can wait, we get some nice pocket movements there. Oh, yeah. And we can enjoy a ride in the speedboat. <laughs> and I promise to run, run over some fishing boats. Nice. There's, there's one of those. Uh, you can see landmarks in the distance, power plants, and the church. There. I think they're going to need a bigger boat. And oh, sorry, here. Josh from Scotland has been asking me all along, will there be dismemberment? Dis dismemberment? Uh, body parts uh, coming off. Uh, probably not, you know, probably uh, not. we are not much in the gore stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, other than that, you will be able to draw yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate this because in the next demonstration I'm wearing scuba gear. All right. But uh, we are going underwater, and this is how it looks like. We get combat swimmers, bubbles, and somewhere around we may have a fish. Okay. There we go. You can, you know, infiltrate, make sabotage machines, or dive um, and check out the wrecks. Will the forward-looking infrared be carried over into Arma 3? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, we are not ditching any feature. Okay. Basically, uh, uh, we are trying to improve or add, but uh, we will never ditch stuff. Uh, is this game 100% free roam? Can you just rock where, walk around and do what you want to? Uh, it's, it's probably hard to tell now uh, on the campaign terms out, but uh, we'd like, we like it to be just like that. Or you know, we'll make sure the chapters are large enough to uh, uh, provide enough space for explorers. Understood. Um, how many people will be able to play in multiplayer? Uh, uh, it's it, it's something I uh, can't can't estimate right now, but um, it, it, it will be minimum as it used to be in Arrowhead. Uh, probably more because we are optimizing the network. Uh, Can you pilot the submarine? Uh, no, but uh, I'll, I'll, uh, but we have the possibility to pilot the swimmer delivery vehicles. Okay. Uh, they are not in the uh, state in which we can show them. And. Well, this is how the battle may look like. Uh huh. But. It's going to be 
Thank you. And I guess uh, I have a schedule of your colleagues like, for later today. Oh, do you? Yeah. Good. But did I give you my card? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. If you have any questions, any requirements, sure. anything, just let me you know. Drop me an email and anything. Okay? All right. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure we can do maybe later like a Skype conference, camera wedding from Czech Republic to the US. It really depends. Just let me know. All right. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, you got on the live. Right. Yeah. Mix it with the 